What's that, Chrissy? It's hydrate spark time because <laughs> it's lighting up, and now I no need to drink water. Ah, uh. love it. Mm. Good job. It looks pretty when you do I'm it. I'm hydrated. Hey, just remember, people, uh, it's important to drink water. We always forget. And what's better than having uh, something that lights up and lets you say, hey, drink some water. And then you do. And it keeps it really cold for 24 straight hours. It's Hydrate Spark. Order the Hydrate Spark Steel today and our listeners will get free shipping. <laughs> Go to hydratespark.com slash V-I-A-L-L. Hydrate is spelled with an I. So that's H-I-D-R-A-T-E. Spark.com slash V-I-A-L-L. That's hydratespark.com slash V-I-A-L-L for free U.S. shipping on the new Hydrate Spark Steel bottle today. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? What's going on? How are you? I'm good. So good. We have a great episode for you to, today. I'm we very excited do. to bring this to you. We're the first. Oh, God, I love being the first. Um, Victoria chair. Fuller. Uh, what a fun episode. I wasn't really sure how it was going to go. I uh, extended the uh, invite to Victoria, who was uh, in LA, hanging out with three other women from her franchise. We get some dirt and update on that and her life uh, what's going on well how, you know she had some interesting times on the show it was a great conversation i think you guys are fine. really gonna enjoy it we had some fun we laughed we cried we got in a fight no i'm just kidding <laughs> uh it was a lot of fun i really appreciate uh, victoria taking the time and i hope you guys enjoy listening um i hope first podcast i hope that you feel like you got to know her a little bit better um and so uh yeah if you're tuning in to just hear the Victoria episode, all you Bachelor fans out there, check us out at uh, Mondays for Ask Nick episodes where we yeah. hear some wonderful relationship stories. Uh, I give my opinion on them and people find it helpful most of the time. And uh, yeah, also, if you want to rate us five stars, we'd certainly appreciate that. Subscribe, obviously. And uh, without further ado, should we just get right to the VF? The VF. Bio files, Victoria Fuller. <gasps> oh, it's a combination oh made in what heaven. A dream. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's get to it. Is my how does my is my voice annoying? Uh welcome. Hi. I'm so glad you could join us, Chrissy. Yeah. And myself. I am so happy too. This is your first podcast. It is. Thank you, you for having me. Uh, both of you. We appreciate you choosing us i did choose you i know so you have a lot lucky. of options in the podcast, options when it comes to podcasts. podcast world even specifically ones that <laughs> might associate themselves with the bachelor so this is true clearly you've i'm sh assuming you've had options to do other podcasts and interviews yeah i have why have you been so quiet um i think that it's just been really chaotic and hectic over these past like six months. So I kind of just was like, fuck everyone. I don't really want to talk to anybody. I okay. kind of just want to like chill out, do my own thing. Are you kind of generally a private person? It's extremely private. Despite going on. Despite going on The Bachelor, on. my whole life was aired. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. How, how did you, I mean, you know, since no one's really had the opportunity to ask you really any questions i feel like correct i don't have to worry about if things have been asked and answered before so let's start at the beginning oh okay how did you find your way on to peter's season okay so this actually started i was um drunk with my roommate go figure and she signed up for love island another tv show and oh, wow. <laughs> she didn't make it on it's fine wait so she didn't make it on america love island yeah america? yeah it was like their first season that they were airing and she applied and she got like pretty far into it and then she oh the the process yeah the process and then and then what you're like i'm gonna want you you try to one-up your friend it's like sweetie i'm going on the bachelor not love island <laughs> No, not really, but kind of. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're like drunk at home one night. You're oh like, my God. Let's apply for a reality show. How did no you, shit. How did That's you break how... that news? Sorry you didn't make it. Like, also, oh. I have some good news. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually didn't hear back for like a month and a half. And then finally, when the recruiter reached out to me, she was like, hey, like we got your application. I, I was like, fuck. I totally had forgotten that I even applied. So, yeah. And then I went out to New York and... Did the whole deal out there. I met Lacey. Lacey's, Lacey's the reason I got on the show. Shout out Lacey. Love you. Um, head Great in, girl. Head in the casting department. Yeah. She's fucking awesome. 
Um, so that was that. And then I got a call 36 hours later. Who's counting the hours, not me. Um, and then that was it. When you got asked, were you like, I'm definitely going? Was there a, should I really do this kind of? Yeah, I was super hesitant just because I am so private that I just didn't know like how I would respond to that situation. And I'm also just like (laughs) extremely insecure. So like, fuck. Um, I just don't really like competing with other women. <coughs> you, uh, what are you laughing at? Well, the fact that you, when before we started, you reminded me how I, in this very chair, I think, oh, in the yeah. second episode of recapping Peter season, I what I, a gem I, I said, you are. I said, <laughs> I said, there's no fucking way she's insecure. And even though she's pretending to be insecure, I don't buy it. Yeah, you said that I was pretending to be insecure. And then, well, fast forward like nine weeks, I was like, no, she's super you're like, insecure. No, she's super insecure. <laughs> yeah. I don't always get it right. No, you don't. It was just a hot take. Yeah. You know, it's he, fluid. You thought you knew. Um, so, um, how do you feel about your overall experience on Peter's season? Um, <laughs> I think that now that I'm on the other side, it's okay. Cause I was just like, so in my head about everything. And I just didn't know how to adjust to this weird, like, I don't know. People are so fucking mean these days. So yeah. it's a weird adjustment, but I feel like it can be tough. It's super tough. Oh my God. Look at that. It's time to drink some water again. I mean, look, it's pink now. It's pink. You can change the colors whenever you want. Hydrate Spark Steel is fun. It's decorative. It uh, keeps your water ice cold for 24 hours. That's pretty impressive. It's got a very easy app. I'm constantly forgetting to drink enough water. My pee should be clear. I mean. not. Oh, it's not. I don't mean to get TMI, but like you want to hydrate your skin and, and feel better. And it's always letting you there. It's like a, a it's like a, it's like a friend that follows you along and doesn't yeah. nag. It doesn't nag. And it's nag. terrible because you it work out says, outside. It says, hey. Drink some water, babe. <laughs> hey, babe. Babe, drink some water. It's sleek. It's sexy. Order the Hydrate Spark today, and our listeners will get free shipping anywhere in the U.S. Go to hydratespark.com slash V-I-A-L-L. Hydrate is spelled with an I, so that is H-I-D-R-A-T-E spark.com slash V-I-A-L-L. That's hydratespark.com slash V-I-A-L-L for free U.S. shipping on the new Hydrate Spark steel bottle today. Um... When you were filming, uh, who did you get along with the most? Ooh, okay. She's saucing up. Sorry. <laughs> A couple of shots. Um, who was I closest with? So I was closest with Lexi. Do you remember Lexi? A little redhead? Yeah. Fiery and cute. Yeah. Um, Natasha Parker, Sydney um, Hightower, and uh, Victoria Paul. We were all like in the same room together. So we had a little little thing called the cat. Yeah. Honey, yeah. meow. <laughs> so I was closest with them. And then towards the end, me and Hannah Ann became very close. So that's And that. now you're probably Natasha and Hannah Ann and maybe who else? Kelsey or you're the closest? Yeah. One? Yeah. I would say I would say me, Lexi, Natasha, all those girls, we talk on a daily basis because we have a group chat. And then I talk to Hannah Ann every day and Kelsey too. And we all have like a group message. So we're constantly bugging each other. When you were filming, uh, well, well, yeah. So you're Victoria Paul. Mm-hmm. So I was Team Alea. Alea? What's Alea? Alea. 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 Uh, did you feel like that was a, there was a misrepresentation there? What really went down there? Can you shed any light on, on that drama? Because I honestly felt like Victoria Paul was the bad guy. I know you did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he is in that, very vocal in about that, that bachelor moment. Well, I think that you know, Alea left and she had access to other things that we didn't, like her the iPhone. Internet. The internet. Right. So she was able to like read a lot. And sometimes you go down a dark hole or, I mean, you read about, yeah. you know, yourself and other people. So anyways, she, when she came back, I don't think she had any serious intentions to like hurt anybody, but she also was not 
exactly using her head in that moment, I'd say. So you felt like when uh, Alea came back, she, well, maybe it doesn't in any way excuse some of the things VP said. But I she, don't remember what she said. I don't remember she either, said. but like, it just looked like she was definitely lying. What was she lying about again? About like, she's like, we weren't, first, it was, we, uh, now I remember. Oh, first, okay. first before That's she got home, she was like, we're like friends <laughs> and I know her and she's bad. Yeah. And then Alea comes back and she's like, I barely know this bitch. Yeah. Like it was like, wait, I don't what? Know. Yeah. It was like a weird thing with them because one minute they were like friends, the next minute they weren't. I mean, I couldn't really keep up with either one of them and I'm friends with VP. To be honest, I was just like both of y'all like, this is fucking and then, stupid. And so. then Peter's like, I just doesn't make sense because it really didn't make sense. And then, it, I, and then yeah. VP was like, I can't believe you don't believe me. it was so wild. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so despite that, Alea, you're saying she, she, when she came back, she, regardless if she was influenced by her surroundings or not, she came in just, just shooting Daggers. bullets at, at people. Oh yeah. She's coming, coming in hot. So you felt like the vitriol she received from the house was at least somewhat justified. I think in the moment. The criticism. Yeah, I, I think in the moment, because and you have to remember, like, we're all there for a reason, you know, to be engaged. And then you add one more bitch back to the group and you're like, oh, fucking, are you, are you fucking kidding me? You know, so it's just, well, you kind of were like that, though, because you came into there. You know, late. Yeah, you came in late. And how much shit did they give you? A lot. They fucking hated you, probably. Mm, they did. Yeah, because. And now they're all your friends. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's because you're adding one more person. It doesn't matter who it was at that point. But it, on top of that, she did come in. With so it was some, a little bit of both. It was a little bit of both, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. That was an honest answer. Yeah. Um. I'm not a fucking liar. <laughs> you might be a lot of things, but, but not a fucking, a liar. fucking liar. Um, your first bit of drama that you were involved in oh, wow, we're that really, really was specific it. to you was the Chase Rice stuff. Yeah. And minus the uh, off camera, of which even on this show, I was a bit critical of uh, how he handled the Correct. that stuff. You were just, I mean, there's not much there. You you were totally, for anyone, what was that relationship? Uh, if anything, how surprised were you? Like, what were you mad at the producers? What what was going on? Because that was a very unique, head? yeah. Okay. Ex- for, some, for that to happen to anyone. I don't want to get too deep into that because I just don't even think he's worth my time or our time sitting here talking. Um, but I will say that it was extremely surprising and him and I had, um, a, whatever you want to call it, like over a couple months span and yeah, like a week before I left for the show, him and I had, and people know this, like I went to go see him in Charlotte where he was performing and, um, that was that, but yeah, it was extremely out after the concert was done. (laughs) I mean, yeah, we like we were in communic. <laughs> yeah, we're. I'm not gonna say we're boyfriend and girlfriend, but sure. we were communicating and we were. Uh, yeah, we're hanging out. Hanging. Yeah, tucking, we were tuck, tucking, touching, tucking, sure. touching, <laughs> yeah. and stuff. I, okay, relax. But um, did yeah. Did you tell somebody that? Like, did you tell? I like, told nobody. That? I so didn't tell. Really I was totally fucking, random. Oh, I didn't tell a soul. And it wasn't like on your Instagram or anything. First off, it wasn't completely random. Oh, I, they didn't like book chase and cast victoria because they knew once they found out it was game on yeah yeah once they found out then they hooked up the date for that one on when they found that out they weren't like well maybe we should take kelly because she's a big chase you know i mean they they, i don't know what they told you and i'm can't really speak to a lot of stuff but it was more than that it was like he was apparently talking with them over the past like year and um, being under contract i heard he was really trying to get on right. that and show so, for a lot. His team. Yeah. Was yeah. He was. And there was like a year span where he like didn't really know when he was. And then they called him yeah. two weeks before my date. And he had to cancel one of his tour dates. So. Oh, so you, you think can, it was not no, no, as just genuine. Saying, just like, I, that's all I'll say. Okay. Well, you would know I know, more than I I know would. like, yeah, well, I would. Who do you, did you hear, you, you might, have you, who did you hear that from? Um, Team Chase? Well, 
I don't want to answer that. Because I'm not. I'm Chase. Don't let her be manipulated by her current surroundings. <laughs> Do not <laughs> manipulate me by my current surroundings, damn it. Shit. <laughs> it might be the title of the episode no I haven't but i do yet. i do know like just from like talking to other like people that are like hey should we go and do this this is a booking opportunity that's come up they do book it really far in advance oh well no no that's oh, yeah. the thing is like yeah. that's why he was like i mean he has tour he was on tour so his tour dates were booked out yeah. and like they called him two weeks prior and he had to drop his tour or one of his dates so well, i have always said yes they plan everything I'm not going to say that, but I'm also... They, but they plan it. What I'm saying is they plan everything in advance, as Chrissy said. Yeah, and they book out those... But they can. Products. They will move oh, heaven will and earth move. on a dime, and they can if need be. Yeah. yeah and that, that I know, was, and I've said that over and over and over. Thousand. They're best at adapting. Yeah. Uh, that's their I love gift. a good producer. Oh, um, fucking got me you, good. You make it work. It. Uh, so when it did happen, yeah. like, well, like... What was going so, on? I mean, I would have, I, I couldn't imagine. I mean, standing in like in well, front of your ex boyfriend dancing with it, somebody who's trying to make out with you. Why would that be weird? It's less now, even more. But I remember when I got casted, right? Yeah. Uh, my ex girlfriend at the time was still good friends with my friends and we were in the same circles, but we had been broken up for almost two years. So, like, I hadn't had, I didn't have any ex. And other than that, there was, right. but you're always like, you don't know. You're afraid. You're just like, what if someone just pretends they're dating me and shows up? You're always yeah. afraid of those things yeah. as a cast member going in. Right, like, what? How could this go bad? Right. So here you are on a date, and fucking Chase Rice, some guy that you at least you know hung out with after a concert of his, and did yeah. God only knows what, because you won't say. So we'll let our imaginations run wild. Yeah, you guys can. And then, leave that up to the imagination, honey. And then <laughs> she doesn't kiss him down. So whatever you can imagine probably happened. And then so okay, that <laughs> relax. <laughs> She's like, oh my God. She stop. probably just got on a tour bus and ate some Funyuns and had like, some whiskey. What you whatever <laughs> whatever your happened. weirdest thought is, that's happened. No. And then... <laughs> and so and you, honestly, the night got really weird. I wish I could elaborate, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. But, it got yeah, weird. Yeah. They were yeah. clowns. And then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so all of a sudden, you're with Peter and you're yeah. walking up and all of a oh sudden, my God. you see him and all you can think about is that super fucking weird night with clowns. <laughs> And then what's going through your head? Okay, so Peter, first off, we're like, this is a little uh, BTS. But before we walked to go to the concert, he was like, I have a surprise for you. I'm just like so excited. And he's like, how would you dance um, at a country concert? Because he knows country is my favorite music. And I was like, I don't know. We're like dancing on the side of the stage. And then he's like, okay, I have one more surprise for you. And I thought it was like we were going to the teacups. And I'm like deathly afraid of the teacups because I threw up when I was younger. It's just fucking traumatizing. Anyway, so we're walking over to, we're walking over and I'm thinking we're going to teacups. And I'm like, no, no. And then I was like, no, no. <laughs> Those like, teacups look pretty like, good now. I was like, you take me to the fucking teacups. Um, no, but like my heart sank and I was just like, I didn't know what to do in that situation because i immediately like saw chase and like i he saw me and he kind of just did one of those like moments where he was like fuck and i both we both were like stage yeah yeah because he's we made eye contact before i even got up so there there was some editing there because it it, they didn't show that, which yeah, is yeah. They just showed oh, him. Why wouldn't they, they have showed sh that? Because they just showed him playing. And yeah, then they, they showed them really... walking out. They showed him being a professional, which yeah. is a service to him. No. It... <laughs> I'm what I'm saying, like, anything. it would have been better TV if you saw Chase go, you know. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. we definitely made eye contact before. I saw his hat, okay, and I don't, know. I don't remember either way. Um, yeah, it was definitely a moment where I was like, okay, shit, do I like walk the fuck away because this is super awkward, or do I like try to act like nothing happened and then tell him later? I mean, like, it's a split second; you have to make that decision. Yeah, no. And I was Truly. like. Yeah, only, I mean, I can put myself in that situation, and I can't imagine I would have pant. I would have pant. Yeah, I was like freaking out a little bit, and also too, like Chase knew I was going on the show. Like we talked about it. This was like a very open conversation with him and I, um, leading up to me leaving. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he knew the day before I was leaving. We were texting. Like the whole thing is kind of just so fucked up. At the concert, he kind of gave you the old send off. What was that? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> no, that wasn't that actually it was more of like when I went to go see him, it was like, our, I don't want to get like too deep in this, but it was just 
like, you know, I'm dating, you know? I'm dating. Who gives a shit? I'm not like here trying to dating is right. I want to f- figure myself out. And no, there wasn't like an old send off, Nick. Thanks, motherfucker. Um. So what did you? I mean, because what I know about you and is that you, you when you <laughs> and I think America does when you you don't you will if if you're feeling something you'll Retreat. express it, but you're fine. But I. You you had a good uh, relationship with the producers and you could tell them when you were mad. Oh, so like, what oh, did yeah. you say in that moment? Oh my gosh. So I remember I, when I, after the concert, I walked and, you know, met up with my producer. She had no fucking idea, but I could see from across the way that, I don't even know if I'm allowed to be saying all this. Am I allowed to say this? Let's say it and we'll figure it out later. Okay. So I just remember looking over and just seeing the cameras like zoomed in on me. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. I fucking see you motherfuckers. The classic uh, ask for forgiveness, not permission. Exactly. Yeah. It, that, that, yeah, 1,000%. And they knew from then on. That was a shit show. <laughs> uh, second Producing. traumatic scene that you were involved in, if I memory serves me correctly. Oh, gosh. Uh, hometowns. Yeah, Hometowns was um, a that was- fucking shit show. And by the way, oh no no! Before yeah, hometown. So but yeah, hometown's daytime. You had this girl show up, who totally sold you out of the bus. And I got and okay. I, first off, there's I, no throwing under the bus. That girl's just cuck, like cuckoo for cocoa I'm puffs. At, so uh, I I mean anyone who would listen to her is like. I love that you drop the f bomb every five seconds, but she's not fucking crazy. She's cuckoo for cocoa puffs. <laughs> so I know like, I'm fucking crazy. So there and this you know actually this. I totally forgot about this, but I think this will, I think is an opportunity for you to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, I would love to tell my side I, I, of I, that because I yeah. actually haven't told anybody. And Please. You know, it's, Just, so I'll give you a little background on this girl. Do you like sexy time? We love sexy Mm-mm-mm. time. Well, I love a good sex story. I, I know agree. I do. And I don't know if you ladies out there like a good sex immersive story that helps you take care of your emotional and sexual health as much as it does your mental and physical health. That's right. Get <laughs> that Dipsy today. Dipsy. Mm-mm-mm. Do you have a lot on your mind? In times of stress and anxiety, is it hard <laughs> to remember to take time to focus on yourself? Do you enjoy pleasure? Do you enjoy joy? Well, it's important to do both, and especially right now. You can pull that off with Dipsy. Pull it off so you can get it off with Dipsy. <laughs> when our <laughs> Dipsy is an audio app full of short and sexy stories and guided sessions that are designed to turn you on and help with you uh, to get in touch with yourself. Or touch yourself. <laughs> they add new content every week so there's always more explosive uh, explosive stories to explore. <laughs> Find <laughs> stories about a spontaneous hookup with a hot stranger. Getting closer with a sexy yoga instructor. Ooh, you can't stop thinking about him or her, <laughs> you know? Or even stories about your new toy getting all tied up. And for our listeners for the show, Dipsy is offering a 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash V-I-A-L-L. That's a 30-day free trial when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash V-I-A-L-L, dipsystories.com slash V-I-A-L-L. Hey, I hate student loans. I just paid mine off. And if you want to help paying yours off, you can do it faster and easier, easier with the help of Ernest. Yeah. Now is the time to get your student loans payments under control. You could be saving. Oh, you could be saving by refinancing student loans with Ernest. Interest low, rates are as low as ever. Now is the time to do it. Mm-hmm. Refinance those loans. Took me a long time to pay off my student loans. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if you uh, have been making the same monthly payments on your student loans for the past, last couple of years, odds are you could reduce your payment and save by refinancing them with Ernest. Even if you're refinanced before with today's low rates, you could get even lower. That's yeah. right. And it only takes two minutes. Take a two minute quiz, answer some questions. You'll get some really helpful answers and uh, hopefully save some money. There's no obligation or any fees. So uh, 
right now, you can get a $100 cash bonus when you refinance a student loan with earnest.com slash V-I-A-L-L. Once again, you get a $100 cash bonus when you refi your student loan at earnest.com slash V-I-A-L-L. Not available in all states. Visit earnest.com slash V-I-A-L-L for more details. Terms and conditions apply. Earnest student loan refinance loans are made by Earnest Operations LLC NMLS pound 1204917 California financing law license number 6054788 303 Second Street Suite 401 North San Francisco California 94107 visit earnest.com slash licenses for a full list of license states so what? and this girl oh, okay. this You're girl lucky. and then we're also can we specifically because i think you'd want to right address some of the things that she was saying oh absolutely about yeah and, and like you the home wrecker i think people oh, are calling you right exactly which i just so love we're gonna put you on trial here are you please do home wrecker absolutely not and this is the thing with her she what she's like calling the kettle black she um that weekend of my hometown was actually sleeping with my boyfriend of four years. So when I got home, I found that she out. She was sleeping with your boyfriend. Yes, my boyfriend of four years mm. that I was like basically engaged to, we were living together. Um, so she's just one of those people and everyone in my hometown knows this about her. They think she's just absolutely fucking insane. And so for her to, I mean, she, first off, I don't know if you know what happened in that situation with her Please. she basically just said like she didn't have any real information no, i rem i do remember that yeah it, it was, was like, like it i was don't so, like her yeah it basically was like she just didn't like me and she, then she wanted it to like classic, say yeah, these... it was a classic no one likes her yes yes <laughs> It was. It was just like a mean girl. Like when, you're welcome. When, you, when you're dating someone and then your you know oh. your partner, your 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 whoever you're dating, you're like, I don't like it when you do this. And by the way, everyone thinks this. <laughs> <laughs> nothing makes me yeah. more yeah. mad and then it's like actually no one thinks that so mm. um, but she uh to actually follow that up it's kind of funny because peter and i have talked after the show and we even talked like after all that okay shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> whatever um Homewrecker. I know, right? I'm such uh, a ahead. home record. But she, no, we, him and I had talked like in fantasy suites about everything that had happened and um, at, in that situation. And she made a comment that, that Peter was her ex-boyfriend. Okay, well, let this be known. They went on two dates and that was it. So he was also too like very confused as to why she was like making an appearance and why she was like I mean, oh that's my like i think I, I, I went and looked her her instagram her instagram refers to herself as a public figure okay I'm and that's sorry. all i needed to see no 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 let me get like let's set the record straight she was a public figure within 24 hours of her coming to my hometown so well, I mean, I'm just saying the fact that she even called herself that. Right. But we sh if I mean, you think about it, she had like a swipe up code within 24 hours and was she, listed as a public figure after coming to my hometown. <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding you. Like, that's how, like, this girl's not right in the head. So it, it, there's no time. Like, we don't even need to waste time on her. She's fucking uh, was she the one who spread those rumors that were floating on the internet? Is that where it all started? Absolutely. From? And producers also said, and I don't know if I'm even allowed to say this. We'll figure it out. Um, but producers also said she was the one who had called in about Chase because she had found out. Yeah. So three weeks prior to me leaving. Well, she... I do want to thank her for that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like actually, somebody she's sent an her angel. a page. Somebody sent her a page. Yeah. <laughs> I Honestly, someone hire her. Yeah, no, 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 associate no, producer. No, Put no. that title up there. Um, no. Wow. Interesting. We'll mm -hmm. definitely keep that in there. Um, but yeah, and it's like it, it, yeah, it, but, it is. It's so it's very weird. But the, it's bizarre. Very like, that, that's it's tough, right? And in, in, in all seriousness, that stuff gets out there, and everyone was talking yeah. about that and in, in mm -hmm. Bachelor Nation as if it was like as it was accepted as truth, right? And that's yeah. what's so frustrating because it's like if you knew the credibility of this person, you wouldn't believe what them. About and, anyone who might say they've heard it from more than one person or that's not like that's like saying i don't know it's like spreading a rumor and then someone picking no, up that rumor because there was no there was no uh, first there's off, no receipts 
And I would, you know, that was the thing with me. I was like, I there felt was like I've heard it. And I've heard <laughs> no, it, mom, right? But yeah. there was no like, right? And I felt confident that, enough. And that would be something you should have. Well, also too, it's like if you are gonna say something that big, then like follow it up. Like she almost had, she almost, she thought she was like being a martyr. And oh, she's falling on the sword for these women and all these women who I've ruined their lives. And it's like, okay, well, where are all these? No, it was just somebody who liked Peter who didn't work out, and she got jealous, so she wanted to try and make something of it to I, make herself feel better. Yeah. Thank you, and to be like, I will, look at me. Yeah, I've told this to producers. The shitty one of the shittier things they do is to let. Uh, you did say that, yeah. Let friends or whoever come on the show and speak their truth. I mean. Yeah, and they and they and they get to get off the show and they get because, to go like, live you their can't life. Def- yeah, it's just like you just and I can't say anything. The, well, and like, here's why I have a problem with that is is specifically too because you go on the show right, yeah. and you know we're on the show we're falling going for Peter and I'm like Victoria Fuller's a bitch and Victoria's like Nikki's an asshole and like and it's just like it's all in that world but you bring in someone outside and then like an audience they might yeah they'll take sides and they'll be like I'm team Victoria or I'm team Nikki or whatever but then you bring in the outside person the outside yeah. person saying I know this person in real life exactly. and they're a bad person mm-hmm. and then audience is like oh, oh they know them in real they're life they're like uh, that's who they are and I right. think it's just fucking they shitty have, like, only- for them to do that without really Diving deep into yeah. who they are. Like, drop. Yeah. And, like, again, yeah, if someone has a, like, I wanted to see fucking Jed's girlfriend come on. Yeah. Bring that girl the on. The Ali right. Benroski one is the best way they've ever done it when they had all those voicemails playing Great. at the end. Like, that's how that it was should awesome. be. That, that was just amazing. Gave me I love that. that was awesome. Yeah. But, but that's like, how they should go about doing it if they're going to bring somebody from the outside. Make okay. sure there's like, and that I've, kind of You know, and, and if I were to, add, if they were here, they would probably say they do do that, but I think they could do a better job. That's just me. Well, you know, um, it's, either, it's neither here nor there. And so fast forward to the evening. Fast forward to the evening, correct. This is where maybe you're not as innocent. I, <laughs> honey, she was two balls of wine deep. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Sweetie. When you're watching it, and what I'm referring to is when Excuse you, I think Victoria Fuller is the first person, and to your credit, it may not be repeated, to like cancel her hometown and still make it yeah. the next week that's, that was i don't wild. know if that's something to be proud of nick you're well, making me sound like you've not, no one's ever gonna do it yeah. again he's like that yeah. is boss <laughs> that is so boss <laughs> like how you like, did that. is it though but I made myself like, a t-shirt here. because when t-shirt. we when you watch it back it is so wild it makes no sense and sometimes and i've i know this to be true in my season sometimes i think things that make no sense like my volleyball date uh, I and even, people I didn't watch, even watch it. your season. Fine. I'm just, Sorry. I'm, but people, it's fine. Shit. Uh, when people watch it back, it really looked like it made no sense. In reality, like everyone just lost their shit and that's what it looked like. But the way right. they edit, but in right. your hometown, it it was like, what the fuck is going right. on? She's just leaving. Well, there was but three hours of that. Like people don't understand. There was three hours that we were, first off, I was sat outside my house for an hour by myself. And then there was three hours of me and Peter talking. People see a two what, minute conversation. What happened? So basically, <laughs> God, because I feel like it's mostly on yeah. you. Well, at the end, I mean, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. So basically what happened was he, you know, brought up this whole situation, which I completely understood. You want to like talk about a situation like that. And it's a, it's, these are serious accusations that are being made about me. I'm your potential wife. Like what the fuck? Are you a home wrecker or not, bitch? I get it. But at the same time, don't expect to then go and meet my family after you're making these, like saying these accusations about me. Did Do you know you, what I mean? I well I then mean, I get if he was accusing you. Well, he did. He did. He, he said, "I'm sorry, but when you say this is what was said about you, and like he wants to get to like the bottom of it, I'm like, you could have approached it in so many different ways. And this is no like Peter and I have talked about it. It's fine. Like whatever, we're cool. But if he had approached me and said, "Hey, my loyalty is to you. This is what this girl said." I don't believe her, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Then the conversation would have went very different. A hundred percent. You know what I you're mean? Right. I, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely yeah. right. 
Yeah. I'm not justifying my actions however, in that moment because I went fucking crazy. <laughs> how, like, however, <laughs> I, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, having been The Bachelor, I, that would scare the shit out of me. Right, right. You know, when women, women who I really liked, if other women had talked, when, when other women might have talked shit about them, I was like, fuck. Yeah, but up to that right? point, no one had said anything about me. So no, why? And I've lived I'm with just saying, all these women. I, I, you're right. That absolutely would have diffused the situation. No doubt about right. it. Yeah. But I think he honestly, he didn't want to like get you off the hook in case it was true. And And unfortunately for Peter and you, uh, the the producers, whatever they thought, they didn't share their opinion. They just let it unfold. Right, which but at was your, very. But at your final four, would you have questioned those women that never seriously potentially you. your like possible wives? Well, I mean, again, if we're just going to talk about my season, yeah. yeah, Corinne, who I sent home on hometowns. Yeah. If some guy in Miami pulled up and was like, uh, but this, you check this, your this, source. I, like, well, the truth is, I was going to send Corinne, if I was being honest, I was going to send Corinne, Corinne home anyways, right? Yeah. So it would have been unfortunate for Corinne because I would have been like, well, what's up with it? And I would, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have been like, you definitely did this. I wouldn't accuse her, but I, would, I wouldn't say, I know it's not true. I would be, well, it seems weird. What's going on? I, w I, w I understand. I think that in the moment, I was just so like, you you know like you've been on that side of it like i can totally relate to you're already feeling defensive right. panicked exactly. worried what are people gonna think and all you want is the olive branch from peter and you didn't get it right well okay i don't think it was like an olive branch it was more just like i wanted him to be more understanding you in wanna, that moment i agree with you i you know what it's mean? like to feel like on a fucking island in that world right. where all of a sudden you just like like and, and on andy season like all of a sudden like the guys, Chris Souls and some other guys. I'm just dropping. And, um, right. and like, which, I'm just dropping some names. Chris Souls. <laughs> right. You all of a sudden realize I'm on a TV show. You see the cameras and you're just like, exactly. I'm fucking alone. Yeah. I'm so alone. Mm -hmm. So I get that. That was that moment. Yeah. I get that. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know if I want to handle it going forward. Listen, so I get happened? it. But also too, have you ever like. Excuse you what? Excuse you what? <laughs> um, have you ever just, you know, maybe handled a situation wrong and you look back and you're like, shit, I could have definitely done a couple things fucking different. Yeah, that moment took place like maybe 20 minutes after Peter left my house because I told him to go away. <laughs> <laughs> so you just, your family, so just to make it clear, yeah. your family is in three hours. They were in you're there on for the three hours. front lawn mm -hmm. and they're watching yeah. you from windows and cold. the neighbors <laughs> arguing oh, with Peter. The neighbors were loving it. They were video recording us. They thought it was the best thing ever. But yeah, we were arguing for three hours and then um, eventually he was just like, I want to go inside. Like, if we can get past this, that'd be great. And I was like, maybe being a little bit of a brat but i was like no you're not coming inside to meet my family I, i'm not saying it's smart or stupid i'm just saying that takes balls on to just be like no <laughs> does, no i was time. so offended like, yeah i'm I was supposed so to marry offended. you you should trust what i'm That's saying like and now you want to come meet my parents i would be like Thank i would you. yeah that was that was it it's that was interesting it that you are saying that from a female perspective like fair enough yeah. i'm not saying you're wrong I'm just saying what America or the uh, like a lot of people like to yeah. say is, oh, you're defensive. Mm. Oh, then you're guilty. I mean, right? That's yeah. a criticism. Yeah, yeah no. I'm and just, that's a criticism that I received. And I get it. It's understandable. But at the same time, it's like, imagine yourself in that position. Like, I'm ready to marry this person. And they're and like, you were accusing feeling Peter me. then. I mean, I, I oh, absolutely. Because from a relationship standpoint, that makes a lot of sense. You're in yeah. a relationship. You want your partner to trust you if no one else Exactly. Yeah. And so you took it that that's way. That's what I said. And we had a interesting take. Yeah, because if there weren't cameras there, that's exactly the same reaction I feel like most people would have. Right. Thank you. And that was my whole thing was like, I was never different on and off camera and i think that's why people kind of took me wrong um, well i i don't know you that well but what i can t uh, attest to in the little bit i know you is that like victoria will victoria I, I and do. she doesn't really care if it's on <laughs> or off camera yeah i really don't i mean <laughs> good thing and a bad thing sweetie um everyone wants you to be like really happy and they also just want like an escape from their normal life i think on the show so they expect they hold you to a higher standard than they hold themselves and i'm like i'm a motherfucking human like i make mistakes i 
whatever i say shit i don't mean and then i take it back but guess what you can't take it the fuck back like yeah. you can't no you can't it's on national tv i have so. dated and that's been a problem in relationships i've had yeah. is uh i'm like yeah sorry you can't take it back yeah, yeah. but it's I, also both i of do your not want to have sex with you in this moment exactly you said yeah. some real nasty things to me five <laughs> minutes ago i'm sorry won't cut it yeah <laughs> she's like sorry <laughs> Yeah, you don't let's love do it. Let's do it. Let's do it anyway. I love you. I was just like, I was, like, I was like kidding. He's so hot. <laughs> But it's both of you, like, you, you always say, like, it's both of your real lives. Like, and people yeah. would just sit at home and you're like, no, but this is my real yeah, life. Yeah. And then, well, it's some more than others, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I know. I feel like I was just, I don't know. I was very invested. And, 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 and so we're clear. You know, you're not saying, and I'm certainly not saying that yeah. even while you were real, still not the best course of oh, action. Oh, absolutely. You regret how you handled it. Oh my it. God, I regret a million yeah. things, honey. You can't take it all back though. <laughs> I mean, I regret, I wish that I had handled the situation different, but at the same time, everything worked out the way it was supposed to work out. And yeah, so should I have maybe not, <laughs> excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe so <laughs> whatever <laughs> it's fine i'm fine um yeah we're working on it okay? um what are it, oh, we'll get to that what oh i was gonna say uh so if you if 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 you were to pander to the audience mm -hmm. what would you say their things the criticism you've you have received about your person your character on the show right. like just specific to the show what would you say things what would you say are things that are not the most accurate or what are true you know where do people get it right where do, where how do people not know you you know like you know what's the best misconception yeah, of you yeah so i think the biggest thing is like i've had people like when i'm taking photos with them or meet them and then like whoever they're sending it to on the receiving end will say was she nice and I'm like, oh my gosh, people think I'm a fucking asshole. <laughs> and I'm not, and you know that, like, I'm not a dickhead. No, you're, she's very nice. And I very, actually, very low. She, you yeah, can like, be mean. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. I mean, definitely have like a mean side <laughs> to me, sweetie, yes, yeah. we know that. But when you're not being mean, <laughs> <laughs> very nice. She's very like nice. very, yeah, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> There's a yeah. Um, not all the time. <laughs> when you're not being an asshole. Very nice. Yeah. Those few moments. <laughs> those very the few and far between. But no, I mean, I listen, I also have gotten that too. I was I we walk. I was home in Milwaukee and with friends, and I, I always try to go out of my way to be nice. But like yeah. also sometimes people will make it awkward. So a group, at one time where it's like bar time out, out in Milwaukee and this group of um, women walk by and the girl walks by and she's like, you know, after she's like 10 feet by, oh my God, it's Nick from The Bachelor. And like, what do you say to that? She didn't say, hey, Nick, whatever. She just like yelled it out. So right. we kept walking yeah, and she's like, oh my God, he is an asshole. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what did I do? Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. Um, You're like, wait, come back. Nice. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so nice. I'm so nice. You want um, some essential oils? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding. He's sending me some of those. It's fine. <laughs> I get it. NHOils.com. <laughs> He's like, and now to the advertisement. <laughs> um, so you're not always mean. No, I'm not always fucking mean, Nick. Thank you. What else would be uh, unfair criticism of you? Not unfair only as a human, but as maybe in someone in a relationship. Because a lot of times when we watch The Bachelor, oh, we they like said to that make I was, assumptions oh, about how people would be in a relationship. Yeah. yeah. The best one that I saw was that I was a narcissist. And I was like, that's funny, honey. I'm not. And then I like gaslighted Peter, which we've talked about gaslighting. You gaslight. definitely gaslight Peter. Okay, first off, you, were, you, were, you can't make those kind of accusations right now. Well, you can be a... Back the fuck up. You can, wait, everyone. <laughs> here I know, comes the me. <laughs> oh, here she goes. <laughs> wait, wait. I, it's funny. Here's the thing about gaslighting. It's become a new word. Gaslighting, I don't even know what it means. It's I, honest. I, I just, like, it's gaslighting, gaslighting is like kale. We didn't know what kale was one day, oh and the next day, is not everyone like knows about kale. Kale's right? Healthy. We didn't know what gaslighting wasn't a word yeah. for the average person, and now people are throwing it out like you're fucking gaslighting. You're gaslighting. Yeah. You can have. We've all gaslit before. Of course. Just so we know. 
I think in, in relationships. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're like a total gaslighter. So anyone who wants to throw it out, like if you've ever been accused of gaslighting, it's like you get can canceled we, or something. Can we just but, get like a definition of it? Because I'm not very uh, Well, I mean, I, I don't want to rip off a definition like in some of the... But it's well, when you're, you're it's, it's when someone like would give you a criticism, a legitimate criticism of how you might be acting. Instead of acknowledging that, you immediately turn it around on them and accuse them of something either valid or most often completely out of the blue and getting them on the defensive. Men historically have done it to women See, I feel for like years. That's, I feel like I'm like, that's weird because I feel like that's a lie. But women can do this yeah. in relationships. I told a friend last night, I was like, that guy gaslight you. <laughs> like, you're like, it, she's it like crazy. feeling super guilty, probably. Yeah. But yeah, you, again, we have covered how your interpretation, but Peter asked you a, a question only based on the information that was coming Yeah, but him. you guys didn't see the full story because I had explained to him in depth and he even like went, he like told other people about our conversation too because they didn't show everything. Well, like there, I gave him the full scoop of like this girl. We talked for three fucking hours okay i wasn't gaslighting him so, but by the end of it it was very it was okay, extremely let's go, let's frustrating go, let's go back there so i i'm three hours is a long right time. It, 20 three, minutes is a long time I for mean, a fight. three hours of so a are you saying you expl you know like oh in okay depth. so when you when peter first asked you you didn't lose your shit no i was like the minute that he walked out or he got out of um, the car, I knew something was wrong because I could see it in his face. And he walks up to me and I was like, oh my God, are you okay? Like initial reaction because I just saw it all over his face. And then we sat down and we started talking about it. And I was like, under, I was like, okay, this is all making sense. I was like, this girl has this huge like thing against me. We talked about it for hours. So, I'm talking hours. So you're saying eventually. Eventually I got so And let's just for argument's sake say it was one hour and it felt like five. It well, doesn't matter. I mean, That's a either long way. fucking time. I mean it was. A 20 minutes. But you're a long time. So you explain yourself and the explanation only takes 20 seconds. Correct. So you did that and then yeah. what Peter just wouldn't believe you? He was. And then you got mad? I think it was more like no. It, no. It was more like he was wanting more information about it and after i gave him the information it's a very like weird i don't know how to explain it but it was just i it is what it is and he i wasn't connecting the dots yeah he wasn't understanding fully like he was like but why would someone make that up and i was like well why would somebody like go on and do all this you know so it was like he wasn't understanding from my perspective i wasn't understanding from his perspective looking back i could have been ex i could have been way more understanding of his position and where he was coming from um because it is hard i know that he was like trying to weed through everything and understand everything and it's a huge decision but at the same time i was like yo we've been dating for like how long and we're like supposed to be getting engaged in two weeks so to me it was just frustrating at that point and so i did react in an inappropriate way and i was extremely frustrated at that but point not right away no it was I mean, not admit, it was make it different no 1000 percent because i was getting aggravated and i was getting annoyed that he didn't understand me or where i was coming from so then i was like just i was like you know what fuck this like kind of deal and i was like I'm, I'm done and that's why i was like if you're not gonna like and then he wanted to go meet my family after which was even worse because i was like you're gonna drop this fucking huge bomb now we have to definitely go inside and tell my parents because he knew that too he was like well we'll just yeah, explain to them <laughs> yes yeah and he was like we'll just like explain to them like what happened and i was like how the fuck are we gonna explain you know this what to them? honestly that was a miss by you let me explain why let me explain why. Well, that's your, your fam. It's hindsight's twenty twenty, but hindsight is and listen, I I get it. Right, you're frustrated. Whether you okay. how embarrassing. Yeah, you know what I mean. But here's where this is a miss on your part. You not like not not you want you like Peter. Not that you wanted to make Peter look bad, but your family watches you for three hours. You mm -hmm. have to explain it. You go in there and you tell them the story. I just got accused of this crazy shit. Immediately, yeah. your family goes to Peter. It's just like. Wow, that seems like a weird thing to believe, but you've been dating for how long? Yeah. Why don't you fucking believe her? I know. And all of a sudden you have you your in backup. You have your team. Okay. You've been feeling all alone this whole time. And now you have your team and your team's gonna be like, Peter. That's amazing. What the fuck? Yeah. And then Peter then has to explain to America and your family why he doesn't believe you. 
you're right and what a miss <laughs> what, <laughs> but also too i was like i had all these um i was envisioning my dad talking to him and and how they would like connect and how they would like just form a bond tr- yeah and i just i thought you know first off my dad would have ripped him a fucking new one he would have been like listen motherfucker but i i just I thought it was going to be sweet moments and then I knew that was taken away from me and I was upset by that and I didn't want it to be him meeting my family and I even told him when we went to Australia I was like if you meet my family it's going to be organic and it's going to be when it was supposed to be and we had talked about like flying my parents out to Australia and like what that would look like and she was trying to get a sneaky way of getting her family a free trip to Australia oh my god <laughs> shut the it's fuck up the joke <laughs> um well I will say uh, you, whatever you want to think I think it's clear by what you're saying is that you took you know all the right reason stuff you were almost taking that whole thing too literal and too serious Oh, absolutely. Because, oh my God. You know, everything you're saying is how would you handle it in a relationship in real life? Exactly. And that's what that was almost and I've said this before, that was like my biggest regret was that I was too like naive to the process of like I should have been a little bit more reserved and known that the cameras were on me because like I think that <laughs> okay. we all can relate to a time where we have been in an argument with our significant other and maybe we didn't handle ourselves correctly and we get the we have the option to maybe work it out 10 minutes later and, and you like, were willing to give America the most honest representation of yourself like, I mean uh, thank like, you <laughs> once again <laughs> I don't know if this is good or bad right now like, it's honest. authentic it's AF. Honest. <laughs> I mean, you make an interesting case if if you're saying hey anyone listening have you ever done this well that's what I'm saying like and we most had of you moment. listening would say I'm on camera of course right. I do that, but I'm not crazy enough to do it on camera and you're like well everyone I fucking was I am yeah 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 exactly so okay maybe i was just convincing argument you can make i should have just been a little bit more aware is all i have to say because behind closed doors we all act a little different right Mm, yes moving on to uh before we wrap up your experience on the show yeah and get into your (laughs) personal yeah i can't wait to talk about your current personal life yeah Uh, here we go here we go what are the biggest things you learned overall about your experience i think and what are you grateful for yeah i think that's a really good question thank you for asking me that i think that my overall experience what i've learned is that one putting yourself out there in an uncomfortable situation that you're not used to is worth it because you get to grow so much and i think that from this experience i've really taken everything that i've been through and also just all the criticism that i've been bombarded with and i've really tried to turn it around and make it a positive um yeah i think that i don't know this shit's fucking hard but like it's it's been good and it's been um eye-opening and the fact that i can see myself back and see what I can change on and also like what I was doing wrong in a relationship. I mean, it is the most sobering thing to see yourself on television in a relationship and then have to like watch yourself, but you can also correct your behavior. So I think that was very eye opening for me. I feel like after the show, I was able to really like reflect on what was I don't know, just myself in general. And I also am like happy that I do get such a big platform now to be able to advocate for what's right and also for what's good in the world, not just like what's popular. Um, And I think that my perspective has definitely changed. And I don't know, I, I made a lot of friends from a lot of different walks of life on the show too that I didn't have maybe beforehand. And you're just open to so many different worlds, which is very beautiful. And I think I'm able to appreciate and respect all walks of life. Um, What have you been up to lately? And um, how did you and Chris start talking? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he doesn't even like you just like, he's like skip- what have you been up to and how many frequent flyer miles do you have to iowa <laughs> <laughs> he's like how many times have you been to iowa um so what have i been up to lately let's start there 
So I have been working a lot and I've just been trying to figure out what my next steps are in life and what I want to do and achieve out of. Are you back in the medical sales? So I do a little bit of that still. I think um, my focus is geared more towards stuff that I'm passionate about and that will all come to fruition. Like getting whiter teeth? How do you know that about me? (laughs) Did you know that I'm wearing white strips all the time? My teeth are very sensitive. Um, Okay, so great. (laughs) Excited about your career. Um, Fuck off. Second question. He's not (laughs) fucking genuinely excited for you. I mean, he's like, um, okay, by the way, second question. White teeth, (laughs) kind of a trade off. (laughs) Perfect. Um, Okay, and second question, Nick, what was that? Um, How did you and Chris start talking? So, Chris and I met through um, a mutual friend. Kelsey Weir, who was also on the show, Final Four, mm-hmm. shout out. Um, and she set us up. She, she was, was like, I think you guys should date. Yeah, she was like, she was talking about how there was only three people from Iowa that have ever been on The Bachelor, and she was one of them, and Chris was one of them. And I was like, oh, Chris, like, Chris is cute. Like, why haven't you ever talked to him? And she was like, oh, well, you know, whatever. I don't really know what her response was. But she was like, I have his number, like, I can like reach out to him and I don't know. So she basically just like set it up and we ended up, um, he ended up texting me within like five minutes of her giving. I have no problem with that. Which is so great. No, I thought it was so endearing. I'm excited to get to, yeah. I was like, that's so sweet. So, um, he like immediately texted me and then we FaceTimed and we talked to each other on the phone and through text. And then three weeks later I was, in Iowa, so. And then, um, does that not work <laughs> out, or where are we at now? Um, I am just living my best life. Single. <laughs> what happened? We went a separate direction, but I like respect him so much. I think he's an amazing man. I just think that like right now I'm in such a different place than he is, and. Um, I'm not moving to Iowa anytime soon, so I just want to focus on me. It's been so much about other people this year that I just really want to like hone in on what I want to accomplish and like what I want to get out of this year and looking forward to my career in the future. So I'm, I talk, I still talk to him all the time. I think he's amazing and we are a lot alike, but I just want to focus on myself right now. So She's not a farmer. Not a farmer. I am not a farmer, but I know a lot about fucking corn now. So <laughs> <laughs> there's She's that. Like, See at Whole Foods. I'm like, honey, there's a difference between sweet corn and corn, and I know corn goes in ethanol. <laughs> that makes total sense. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> sweet corn's really good. Anyway, that's corn, it. The corn has been good this summer. It has been <laughs> delicious. I've enjoyed some good corn. I've enjoyed. The fruits of his labor so oh oh <laughs> okay <laughs> relax i mean i really love corn but nice. how do you really love corn how do you eat your corn <laughs> with butter <laughs> why are you like making this conversation so weird oh, man. What? It's just, how, how do you I... eat your corn okay so Olive oil butter well personally <laughs> so chris makes it with um i can't believe it's not butter so we what we, I know. We always joke around. Are you fucking kidding I me? I know. I know. Bless oh, us. well, then there, you're there's so no... You're offended. Listen, Fuck bless Yeah, I'm offended. It's, so it's like fucking plastic. Yeah. It's like... It's fucking dog shit. He's a fucking farmer, and he's buying something that's manufactured in a fucking lab. He got a fucking cow right next to him. He can't go, go and milk that cow, churn a little bit, and get some fucking farm butter on it. Oh, my God. Are you, I should, are you fucking kidding me? I feel like I should not have said that. I feel I like I greatly I offended you. I don't know if I can be friends with Chris anymore. Listen. He puts it... <laughs> I, it would ruin it for me. What the fuck is this shit? I mean, I don't know, but your reaction was I know, best he's ever. so pissed. He was like, he's like, what? I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> no, I can fucking believe it. <laughs> <laughs> don't be mean, Nick. Uh, he, that um, is kind of like rude no, to do to corn. It, yeah, it was. He, <laughs> it's so mean to corn. I, you're like, he's so mean to corn. Everyone's be like, he's really abusing corn. He's abusing you buy corn. a Ferrari and you put fucking vegetable oil in the tank. You're like, what? Yeah, I know. Well, 
But listen. Back to the future. I, um, bless his heart. He, he thinks that it's so good. And every time he goes, I, he's like, I have, can't believe it's not butter. I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's not butter. You have it in your fucking cabinet. Like this shit needs to be oh, wait, refrigerated. It's warm? Yes. Oh. In his so cabinet. Wait, Chris is saying he can't believe it's not butter. Like he literally can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> The it's whole not even time he's cold. eating, like I just can't fucking believe it. This is amazing. <laughs> Stop! No, he's very privy to the fact that it's not fire. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hot. Okay. It's not even cold. That's the worst part too. It's, it's like been hot. there for seven it's weeks. Yes. It's like no longer than that. Like, it's not real years. dairy. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> It's great. He literally like, grows the corn from the earth, walks outside, plucks it off the plant. It I couldn't know. be more fresh. And then he yeah. soaks it in plastic. I can't believe it's not butter. So rude to corn. I can't believe it. It's so great. <laughs> so rude. Mm, yeah, sweetie. It's yeah. nice. You're very... Well, you wanted to know how I've been eating it. I can't yet, believe so. what? I can't believe what? what? Excuse you, what? Can't believe that butter? I know I was a little offended at the moment or at the time. But um, fine. That went off the rails fast. <laughs> <laughs> know, right? Anyways, you're you're out there working on Victoria. Yeah. Uh, you respect Chris. I do. He's not your person, at least at this stage in your we life. We don't know that. Oh, you're leaving the door open. I'm going to leave it. We talk every day. So I'm going to leave that Maybe you just open. have a hard time letting go and you're like, you keep <laughs> yeah. things on the sideline because you're bored. Or, I don't know. I'm just saying people do that. Or maybe she's just not into someone. living in Iowa right now. Thank you. I, I, I'm not saying I'm not saying what it is. Maybe she likes real I'm just butter. I'm simply saying <laughs> I talk to someone butter. every day doesn't mean anything. We as you know on questions with Nick, yeah. we go, well, he calls me every day and it's like, but also like I never, you know. I'm just saying. Yeah, I think that I mean, um, you call me every day. <laughs> yeah, saying. it's like we talk every day. Like okay, it's platon- Like I'm yeah, just saying. I'm just it. trying to get. You're trying an, to get an accurate scope. representation so right. no one can put words okay. in, in the right. relationship's mouth. Yeah. So I, we, I don't know how to describe this. It's complicated. But at the same time, I'm just living, I'm just living my life. And he is an amazing man. And he d- deserves somebody super awesome that who's willing to like go to Iowa and, and live in Iowa. And right now I'm just, I'm not there yet. And, um, maybe I will be in a couple of years. Before we wrap things up, you were just here. You're here in LA. The only reason why you're here is yeah. because you had a final four party. <laughs> That's not what most people think when they say the final four in basketball, yeah. the Peters final four women got mm-hmm. together it's not the woman he's currently with who is on a season, Kelly. Yeah. Did you guys spend all weekend talking shit about Kelly? <laughs> oh my God, it's so Peter? funny. Everyone wants to know this. <laughs> Wait, why would you, you like all come together? Why did, yeah, I'm what's a fi- what is a final four? It was the it, final first four. Off, it wasn't it, a final no. four trip. It was the Being final dramatic. four women on Peter's season. Gal got together and I'm assuming, how, you know. Oh, you guys are just like, hey, let's hang out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, was, no, like, for, it wasn't for something. You're just like, oh, we're friends. Let's it was for out. engagement. We, was, no, okay, shut up. <laughs> so <laughs> you're such a shithead. Um, we are, are all friends still. And we have a different relationship outside of the show that nobody really understands. So. Did you care to elaborate? Yeah. In what way? Would you like me to? In any way that's. How is it different than people don't understand? How do so people, people don't, understand? don't really get it because they think they think that um, they put people into a box and they're like, oh, this is True. how this person is. It's, how th- it's like, no, we're actually extremely all alike. And that's why we all <laughs> were the final four. Like if we didn't have some commonalities, then we wouldn't. There's obviously some. So you're saying that. Maddie has some Victoria Fuller in her. Absolutely. And you have some Maddie 1, in you. thousand percent. And Me and Maddie are like, we we don't agree on everything, but we see eye to eye on a lot, which is funny because it, people would never know. Like me, and, like me and Maddie, people think that we're complete opposites and I've like seen that a lot and we are, but our vibes are very similar. Like we just, we get along very well. She's and that's true about a lot of the people on the show. Like no one again, no one's as perfect or as bad. The oh my perfect God, people. No. Every the the most innocent people on that show could be looked at as 
yeah. trash human beings if yeah. they want. Absolutely. If, 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 it, if, if it was, if they, get, you know. Yeah. And we yeah. actually grew up with very similar morals. I grew up extremely Catholic. And so we connected on that, like at the show, in the show, during the show. Um, and yeah, so that's like something that we have in common as far as like morals go and what we want for like our families when we're older and married, maybe not now. We're a little separate. She wants one thing, I want the other. But down the line, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, do you guys, how, what was the overall conversation between these four group of very yeah. close friends when the tra <laughs> Peter was transitioning from Hannah Ann, from Madison to Kelly? I mean, I'm assuming there oh, were some talks wait. going on inside the, uh, <laughs> the, in, bub. Uh, the, bub, the bubble. Yeah. So um, were you supportive? Were you shocked, surprised? Man, so angry. my thing is like, I, me and Hannah Ann were so close at the end that I was always like advocating for her and wanting the best for her. So I'm a big Hannah Ann fan. Yeah. She's, she's cool. She's, she's very a chill. Cool ass very chick. Cool. She's one of my best friends. And, um, yeah. So whatever she was like wanting to come of the situation is what I wanted for her. And I think the whole like Peter and Kelly situation and all that, I wish them the best. Um, and Hannah Ann's so over it at this point. She doesn't even give a shit. And that's what I care about. I care about my friend. I don't, I hope that Peter and Kelly are happy, but my main focus was always Hannah Ann and how she was like working through it and how she was going to be okay and come out better on the other side. So. Fantastic. Yeah. I know I am. Um, <laughs> do you know me? Yep. Loyal friend. Before we let you go, we have oh, a game shit. to play. It's super easy. It's easy game. Okay. All right, so how this game works. I'm scared. It's so it should be. Uh, I'm going to ask these questions. Does Victoria blank? Does Victoria blank, blank, oh, blank? Oh, shit. Okay. And you're going to think of the answer to yourself. You're not going to say the answer right away. We're going to guess the answer. <gasps> and then you were going to oh, figure out who it. gets it right. If you have an anecdotal story to go with your answer, please share. If okay. you don't, don't feel any pressure to do so. Okay. Do you know me with Victoria Fuller? Does Victoria believe in aliens? I'm not, I'm torn on this one. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know you that well. On some levels, I think he, you're a very you you're a very practical me. person, and who might be like, it's fucking stupid. I don't believe in aliens. But also, she spent time in a cornfield and may know. There's that. There's that. Also, I mean, scoop. if you're asking me if there's a life uh, in the soup, I guess, I guess technically I believe in aliens. So you're going to go with the yes. It's a big, big, big universe. And if you're, if an alien by definition is any type of life form outside of Earth, then I, I do. And I think uh, you're an intelligent person. And so, yeah, I'm going to say yes. Am I allowed to answer? Not yet. Oh, I'm gonna say <laughs> fuck. I'm gonna say no, okay. just to be fun. Mm. Can I answer now? Yeah. Um, have you guys ever seen Ancient Aliens? Yes. One thousand percent, I believe in them. <laughs> One thousand percent, I believe in aliens. Uh, do you believe in ghosts? I do. I believe in spirits. I don't like to call them ghosts. Spirit. Spirit. <laughs> They're spirits. Be respectful. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, question number two. Did Victoria have sex oh. on prom night? Oh. <laughs> night of prom. I mean... Also... Oh, my God. When, what, That's what, actually when, funny. When, when, when was your first prom? Were you uh, the freshman who got asked by the yeah. junior senior? How'd you know that? No. Hmm. Senior. I was a freshman and got asked by the senior. Read the room. Okay. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> That's like, Let's say her senior prom. Let's my it, senior. Like, what no, about no. my prom? Because I went to prom all four years. Of course she is. So, and we get really crazy. <laughs> I don't know if you know that about me. I mean, no, but I went to like all the proms. Side. Uh, yeah. When did you have sex? I'm going to say yes. At you some point. You're going to say she had is, sex on one of those four Yeah, you nights. have to say that. You can't say when did you have sex. Like that doesn't. Uh, I agree. I think she had sex on one of those Prom before nights. junior prom, sophomore. Before prom. junior, I'm gonna say senior prom. Okay. I definitely at some point she got a hit <laughs> during got a during hit. one of those proms. One, yeah. Do you want to know the answer? Yes. yes. I'm gonna say yeah. We both say yes. We both say yes. Yes, one thousand percent on the last 
one. Senior prom. prom. Senior prom. Yep. So I get extra bonus. Which is weird because like, I didn't Just a hundred percent is all you really need to be to be a hundred percent certain. <laughs> You don't even need to be a thousand percent. I'll believe you the same. Okay. Wow. Fuck me, right? Um, question number three. That's lame. So lame. I actually know this isn't true. Have you ever bought in followers? No, you haven't. Come on. Sweetie, I had like a thousand followers. Do you know anyone in your season who has purchased followers? Stop, Nick. Open ended question. You're trying to rattle the cage. <laughs> so you do. Obviously, you do. <laughs> okay. That's all I need to know. Um, can Victoria name the three branches of government? Um, oh, I'm going to say yes. Okay. I'm going to say yes as well. Okay. Do you want me to go ahead and name them? Yeah. Republican. Mm. <laughs> Is that not what not we're talking the about? Three branches of government. Oh, like Senate. What What are we saying? Wait, that's... There's some... I don't know. Can we elaborate? <laughs> don't make yeah, me look. No. Okay, fine. The answer is no. Well, it's what? Okay. Well, what is it? Listen, someone's gonna write some comment. Just you know, oh. executive, legislative, and judicial. Okay, judicial. first off, don't put this in there because <laughs> people are gonna be really hateful. Yeah, don't, they're like, oh my god, they're probably god. You know what I've learned? How bad people are at geography, and it's like, what? I'm good at geography. I'm bad at politics. <laughs> judicial. Legislative and executive. Uh, yeah, I know. The I the know Senate that. is part of the le legislative, legislative branch. Yeah, uh, who Got are it. part of the who's the judi judicial branch? Ooh, the House, <sighs> the Senate. I hate yeah, that. Like the Supreme Court. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Judge, the judi judi judicial, judicial, and the executive branch. Who's that? The there we go. Yeah. I knew that. There we go. I have to say, you helped a friend become a citizen, and I didn't. You know totally that. rebounded. Well, I knew the, I can't I knew say the executive. Judicial, so. Judicial. Do you have siblings? I do. Okay, that doesn't matter in this question. Uh, has <laughs> Victoria fuck? ever had a crush on a friend's sibling? Mm, Don't answer. I'm going to say yes. Yeah. Every girl's had a crush on like a friend's brother or sister, for that matter. <laughs> no. Oh. My siblings are five years younger than me, so uh, inappropriate. It would be very inappropriate. Wait, Highly. We're not talking about your siblings. We're talking about a friend's sibling. Yeah. Oh, have you ever yeah, wanted to I fuck one of your friend's <laughs> brothers? Oh, have yeah. I ever wanted to sleep with one of my friend's brothers? Yeah, yeah. not yeah. your siblings. Have you? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> I have not. Okay. I do not tell a lie. We want people to, or one of your friend's sisters. You never know. One of my oh, honey, she's open. She's here. Has Victoria ever taken uh, a meditation class? What do you guys think? I say yeah. Was it court ordered? <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Such a shit up. <laughs> I would say yeah. You've been to a meditation studio of some kind. I have. Have you ever heard of Nidra Yoga? No. Of course you haven't. Well, it's meditative, so. Sweetie, look into it. <laughs> that doesn't require skates. Uh, <laughs> that's it. For, yeah. Do you know me? Uh, well, that was done. it. You did a great job. Okay, well, I love I love that for me. Uh, Victoria, thank you so much for coming. This has been a ton of fun. Uh, <laughs> I hope that you also had fun, and I, I hope the did. people listening enjoyed yeah. themselves and uh, feel like they know all of you. They I haven't don't know. put you in a box. Um. And uh, I feel like they have. I certainly have enjoyed this conversation. I, I wish you the best in life. And uh, can't be like that. Lots of real butter in the future for you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what ah, we got some real butter coming your way. There is some real well, let's butter hope. going away. Let's <laughs> hope. Um, where can people find you on social if you want to be seen? I don't have Twitter because fuck that. But you can add me on Instagram at VL Fuller. 
Okay. So. Any, anything else that you're doing that you want to promote or? No, not right now. Um, stay tuned, but thank you for having me. You guys have been so fun. <laughs> I know, right? You guys- uh, I know, right? <laughs> I know, Excuse right? You what? Excuse you, what? <laughs> uh, thanks so much for listening, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to uh, rate us five stars on iTunes. Subscribe. Or else, subscribe. I don't say that enough. Uh, don't forget to send your questions at asknickacastme.com, cast with a K, for our Ask Nick episodes. Next time you're in LA, Maybe you can come back and give people relationship advice. I am actually good at relationship advice because I can tell you how, how to Those get, of us how to who reel have made the guy mistakes, in. Uh, are oh, tend to be. I could help you guys out. Just saying. Um, so send in those questions. You guys are the lifeblood of our uh, show. And if uh, you are tuning in because we were dying to hear from Victoria Fuller for the first time, check us out on Monday nights or yeah. Mondays. Monday. Our Ask Nick episodes. We are saving lives and relationships <laughs> thanks for having me thanks for coming this has been fun bye bye see you later